What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today I'm bringing you a special new type of video for you guys. It is a workout that you can do. Now for those of you that don't know, I have been working as a choreographer for a Avatar live action fan film. <laughs> links down in the description if you want to know more about it but I am super excited about it I'm really proud of it and so I have been working closely with the actors to get them ready for the fight scenes and physical activity that they're gonna be doing and in this video I'm gonna be breaking down the workout that the airbender will be doing to train for his role so if you want to do what he's doing so you can train yourself like an airbender then this is the video for you, but before we get into it, you know what we gotta do, <laughs> run that intro. Okay, so while I have your attention, I'm just gonna let you know that it would mean a lot to me if you would like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy stuff like this. And if you have something you wanna see me do in the future, leave a comment or leave a suggestion. Let me know that you like this stuff. Let me know that you hate it. Whatever it is, leave a comment because that really does help and I love reading your comments. But with all that said, let's jump into the video. All right, so you're gonna start off your workout with a 10 minute jog. Hey, uh, is your vision also reduced to just a tiny pinhole? Following that, once you're warmed up with that jog, you're gonna do stretches, focusing on the, your shoulder and arm rotations, your hip rotations. Now it's time to bring it around down. Bring it around down. Making sure you get these nice deep lunges. Stop on your right foot, don't forget it. And touching the toes, making sure you get nice and stretched out in your legs because your legs are very important to be flexible when you do these acrobatic kicks. Next, you're gonna be doing what we call tuck jumps where you jump and bring your knees to your chest. You're gonna be doing three sets of 10 to 15 wherever you feel comfortable. If you're just starting into the workout, start off with 10. Uh, once you get more comfortable, go, jump up to 15 and maybe even 20 if you can do that. Next, you're gonna go into your roundhouse kicks. You're gonna get 10 roundhouse kicks with each leg, either going one and one or doing all 10 on one side and then doing all 10 on the other side, whichever one you feel more comfortable doing. When doing your roundhouse kick, make sure it's knee up, rotate it sideways and then kick just like that. You don't want to kick up or at an angle because that's not what the kick is. One thing that will help you when you turn your knee sideways is turn your bottom foot so your heel is facing your target. As soon as you turn, rotate your bottom foot so your heel on your bottom foot on the foot that's on the ground is facing your target. From there, you're gonna be doing your back spin kicks, meaning you turn backwards and kick with your leg. It comes across almost like a rainbow. Now Keep the change. Roadhouse. Now, to do this kick, you're gonna start in your fighting stance. You're gonna turn all the way so your head sees your target. You're gonna turn a little bit more so your chest is facing your target. And then your kicking leg is going to come around like so, just like, and all the way back to where you started. So again, once you're in your stance, your back leg is gonna be your kicking leg. You're gonna turn till you're facing your target one more time. And that back leg swings through. I almost kicked my bench. Ooh, I don't want to kick that. Let's try that again. So, you're, again, your back leg will be kicking. So when you turn and face your target, you're going to swing that leg through just like that. All together. Bang. And just like with our roundhouse kicks, you're going to be doing 10 on each leg. So 10 with your right leg and 10 with your left. Next, we have our air scooter squats. So our air scooter squats are pretty simple. First, you form the ball. Then you gotta get on quick. <laughs> you're gonna be in a nice deep squat just like this and you're gonna make an air scooter with your hands getting in the motion of flowing in these circles. So right hand comes in front and on top, left hand comes underneath and then you're going to rotate back and forth all while in your <clears throat> stance, all while in your squat. This way you could get motion 
and get used to these big circular motions while training your legs. And you're gonna be doing that for about 30 seconds. And lastly, you're gonna be practicing what we call the hurricane kick, which is three backspin kicks at different levels that all kind of spin right behind each other, making it a hurricane type of move. For those of you guys that are interested, I'm gonna be posting a four part hurricane kick mini series this week so that you can get that move. But for those of you guys that already know how to do it or that plan to watch it, here's what the move will look like. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure when, you do, when you're doing this workout, drink lots of water. It's not good to, to get dehydrated, so keep that water intake coming. You should drink one or two bottles of water, maybe even more throughout this workout. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench you. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. But like I said, keep practicing hard. Get ready for a tutorial to break down that last hurricane kick this week. It's going to be coming out every day, starting from Monday, going to, to going through to Thursday. So if you're interested in that, stay subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss it. But while you're here, don't forget to check out the links down below for the Avatar fan film. It's done by the J&J Film Production Company. They are awesome guys to work with. I love all of those people. They're amazing at what they do. They're extremely talented and I can't wait for you guys to see what we have been working on. So again, all links for trailers and information down in the description below. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out.